Hey everybody, it's Bill from Digital Trends and I'm up in Snoqualmie, Washington inside this giant old lumber mill building for Mudfest 2013. What's Mudfest? It's when you get a whole bunch of really nice SUVs together and a whole bunch of lead-footed journalists and you take those cars out and you get them dirty. Well, there were lots of cars to drive. A couple really caught our attention. Of course, one of them was this $111,000 Range Rover. On the other end of the pay scale, a 10th anniversary Jeep Wrangler Unlimited Rubicon. I drove both on the road and in the tough stuff to see which one wins out. The luxurious Range Rover's high-tech approach to traction, which includes specialized drive modes and air suspension to maintain forward motion, or the Jeep's more manual and traditional gears and levers setup. Both vehicles feature tech suites with the Range Rover having an edge, but the Jeep also had an impressive array of tech features for less than half the price. First off, the road course. The Range Rover wins out over the Jeep with better road manners and of course that amazingly comfortable high-tech push-button cockpit. It is so luxurious. It's a little bouncy, but it's a great big thing, you know? It's not a sports car, but it is flat fun to drive, wow. But the Jeep was no slouch, even though it was hindered on the road course by tires with much more dirt emphasis than the Range Rover street skins. Both had big power, but out on the road, the Range Rover's supercharged 510 horsepower V8 was just a cut above the Jeep's powerful, but normally aspirated 3.6 liter V6. Not exactly the fastest thing out here, but it can climb a tree. But in the Jeep's favor, we rolled back the soft top for some open air driving fun that the Range Rover's giant glass roof just couldn't quite match. And like a real Jeep should, you can take the doors off if that's your thing, even though we didn't do that on this test drive. Out on the off-road torture test, the $111,000 Range Rover's trick adjustable air suspension and off-road drive mode was up to the challenge of deep water bars, rocky climbs, foot deep mud, and side slipping tilted roadways. And the left tire is gonna drop into the water and as such, the suspension is gonna start to articulate quite a lot here. So just taking our time, just like that. And if you look on your screen here, it's graphically showing you the suspension going through its paces. You may pick a tire up off the ground. That's what you're feeling right there. Wow. The loss of traction. It shook and shuddered at times on the really tough obstacles, but it made it through. But it's clear, this big rig really belongs out on the open road. After a few button pushes to disconnect the sway bars and pulling a lever old school style in the Jeep to get the tranny ready for the obstacle course, the $43,000 Wrangler powered through the test section with no trouble at all. Well, this is amazing to, to go through here and with this kind of capability. I mean, it's like the, the, the vehicle for the apocalypse. Both vehicles made it through unscathed, you know, but for my dollars, I'm going with the blue collar special. Jeep may not be as pretty or pampy like the Range Rover, but it was just more fun to drive. It looked tough, it worked great, and I could see myself having a great summer driving around roofless, maybe even doorless if I felt like it. I'm Bill Robertson with Digital Trends. Thanks for watching.